Well, we'd just come through the hottest and driest summer on record and the paddocks were looking in a pretty poor state. So when it looked like there's a bit of rain on the way, we went out uh, to rip a paddock that we were going to put into a market garden this year. The tractor broke down just before I'd finished the job and uh, then the rain started and not only did we get a little bit of rain, we got 300 mils of rain. And uh, in the middle of this, when it was all flooding down, I went out to have a look and see how the ripping goes. Uh, we had a nice little experiment because in the one paddock all treated at the one time, I had some rips were ripped along the key line, uh, a la Yeomans, and some part of the paddock was ripped on the contour, and one part of the paddock that I hadn't finished hadn't been ripped at all. So we could see how each of those patches were performing with the same runoff event. Here's the tractor, and here's where it stopped. So I was three quarters of the way through the job and I ran into fuel problems and then the rain started and I haven't been able to get back here and finish the, finish the job. So what, what we've got here is I've got two halves of this paddock. One half which I managed to finish ripping and this was ripped on the key line because there's no way in the world I could get things to line up properly with um, the tracks and the fences and the irrigation and uh, so I lined it exactly up with the key line and just quickly went and ripped up that side of the paddock with a set of key line ripping, which is the um, the rip lines are on a slight angle directing water from the middle of the paddock out towards a ridge. Very slight angle, you know, as it turns out. At the key line they're on the contour, but, you know, in the other areas they're directing water towards the ridge. And um, on this half of the paddock over here, um, the the parallel with the top fence and uh, the top fence is on the contour on level because I've got the levels worked out for gravity irrigation and it's sort of pretty was pretty convenient to make all these beds just running exactly on the contour as we come down so this is um, contour ripped um, pretty much on these beds there's a fair bit of water running down from upslope from the paddocks upslope um, which had been grazed paddocks but we've got a little bit of water sheeting over the surface and so they're hitting this worked up paddock. And so the bottom part of this contour rip area, um, there's no ripping at all because the tractor broke down. So I've got a nice little experiment. And so if I look up here on the area that's contour ripped, I've still got a lot of water sheeting over the surface. Now the rip lines are picking up that water and intercepting it and they're acting like little dams so that the water's collecting you know in the rip lines and sitting there and infiltrating in. But what's happening is that where there's too much water coming in they're just overwhelming the, the rip line and busting through like that. So I've got these nice little dams but there I've got lots of little dam bursts all the way along the paddock as well and so I'm still getting a fair bit of water sheeting down the surface and so I'm getting water into the soil in spots pretty good and I'm I think I'm slowing down the amount of water that's coming down overall but by the time I get down to the bottom of the ripped area there's still a fair bit of water sheeting over the surface in places but you know still it's reasonably good I'm getting more water into this soil than what have, would have happened so no ripping and obviously surface runoff everywhere um, organic matter being moved the soil being moved and um, even though I've got stubble cover and everything here and and the vegetative cover it's all been moved and pushed aside so um, not good and obviously look at that erosion down on the on cultivated soil we're getting you know quite severe erosion starting to happen and losing water and losing soil off the bottom of the paddock probably more water and more soil leaving the bottom of this side than what was coming on at the top the contrast here is on the other side where it's key line rip the whole way down and um, I'm just not seeing any water running off there at all it's all running along those key line rips and 
plowing into the soil and at the bottom of the hill there's no real runoff or anything at all it's much you know I'm really really happy with what's happened on that side of the paddock so up here in the key line rips where I just ran along um, fairly quickly we're not seeing that sort of dam effect where we're getting dams of water and busting out it would just just much better infiltration when it gets you know it's very hard to find water on the surface here at all um, but if you do walk around and you see it it tends to be flowing along and I'm not seeing those little those little puddles where it's completely overwhelmed and busting the banks and moving along what we've got is yeah we get sheet water running in and then it tends to run along the rip line on the angle and find another place to infiltrate so I'm not seeing all those little puddles that are those tiny little dams that have all busted their banks and this you know, I'm not seeing any water or soil leaving this side of the paddock at all and you know it's brilliant in fact there's less water leaving this side than what's coming in from on top so this is a big infiltration area So I'm doing this comparison across here where I walk over this area had been contour ripped at the top no ripping at the bottom and by the time at the bottom is soap in this work soil I've got all sorts of erosion happening on this work soil and, and runoff pretty awful and I'll just come over here underneath the, the side of the paddock that's been key line ripped I'm only 20 meters away and I'm on the same worked up soil and that soil is still red and rough and there's no evidence here of you know erosion or anything there's no surface water coming off here at all it's just beautiful and well there you have it I've long been convinced that ripping's worthwhile for getting improved infiltration into your soil particularly soils that aren't in good nick to start with but this is the first time I've been able to observe it in this sort of rainfall event and just seeing what a difference it makes getting the angle right as well so I think I'm a convert to um, working on the key line as an improvement over working on the contour and certainly massive improvement over no ripping at all.